Hey everybody, hope you're all doing really good. So today I'm gonna to be replacing the charge port on an LG K31. I have explained to this customer that the repair cost of this phone is really just not worth it, but like most of the phones that come here, this customer is interested in retrieving and having the data back that is on this phone. So here's what this port looks like under the microscope. One of the first things that this customer asked me was, well, if you replace my motherboard, isn't it true that I'm going to lose all my data? And I said, no way, because I'm not going to replace your motherboard. I'm going to replace only the charge port. So the first thing I'm going to do here is lower the melting point of this lead-free alloy that is on the board. And to do that, I'm actually going to flood this with some leaded solder. So we'll just take and hold the iron on here and get some of this nice gooey leaded solder down in the holes. Now I've already preheated pre this board just a smidgen with my hot air station. That makes things move along a little bit easier. And then also we're going to try to get some of this down in here on these pads. We don't want the, uh, the actual pins of the charge port to melt at a higher temperature than the anchors. That's just going to cause bad things to happen. So there we go. We've got some nice leaded solder down in there. So with my hot air set on 340 degrees C and an airflow of 40, I'm just going to begin warming this up and watch for this sucker to melt and if it doesn't melt pretty quickly I will raise temperature but as you can see here it is already melting there we go charge port has been delete now with that board still hot, I'm gonna add just a little bit of flux and flood all this really good with leaded, just to make sure that everything flows nice and easy here. All right, now I'm gonna take us some big old fat juicy wick and see if we can pull the solder out of the holes here. Oh no, it slipped out of the holder. No, don't do that, I'm trying to record a video. All right, we're gonna do that once more. Use my fat juicy wick to pull the solder up out of those holes. Nice and pretty. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. It's just marvelous. Now I never intended on knocking this little gizmo around, so we're just going to make sure and put that right back in the place where it's supposed to be. Or bad things will likely happen. There we are. I'm just gonna clean this up with some alcohol. And install us a brand spanking new, shiny fresh charge port. Well, I don't know about shiny, but they're supposed to be brand spanking new by golly. That's good enough for now because I just have to clean it up once more. All right, now let's get us a nice shiny new charge port here. And here is the size of that charge port on the tip of my finger. It's not one of the smallest things that I work on on this channel, but it's pretty small. All right, so that's gonna sit right down in there just like that. It's just marvelous. Now, because I like for things to flow nicely and also because it's a very bad idea to use any alloy containing bismuth on anything that's gonna get something plugged in and removed like FPC connectors, charge ports, the low melt stuff will flow all beautiful, but it is so very brittle. The first time you touch it or connect and disconnect, it breaks. So, 
I'm just warming this whole area of the board up just a smidgen. And I'm going to use some nice leaded wire solder to first tack the anchors down. So first we'll go for that one. Just grab the opposing corner here. There's that one. Now it's okay if we had a bit, have a bit of an excess here because we want to make sure it's very strong. There we go, nice and pretty. That is a very, very strong charge port. Now I'm going to use my micro pencil, I think. to solder on these other ones here. So I'm gonna be dipping my micro pencil in leaded solder, just regular old solder paste, and then preheating with hot air because I don't use low melt on this stuff. Uh, preheating, I've floated the whole thing. That's going to be <laughs> that's going to be okay. All right, and because I'm ridiculous and I like to nitpick sometimes, add a little more flux, a little more solder to that one pen. All right, now it all looks a little bit, uh, still a little bit grungy. So just to make sure everything is bonded nice and solid all the way through the board and everywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and give that port one little float and maybe touch it a little bit. All right, there's the anchors melting. Oh yeah, look at it pull itself into place. It's just beautiful. And we're gonna stop right there. All right, now while this board is still hot, I'm going to clean this up with some alcohol. Go ahead and remove it from the holder so I can get a better angle at it. Let's clean the burnt flux off the bottom of these pads. So there you have it folks, we have a beautifully replaced micro USB charging port. This is soldered on with a very strong alloy. The phone will be dead or the charge port will be completely wore out before any of these solder joints actually come loose. And uh, that thing is just as good as brand spanking new and I'm not even kidding this time. So does it work? and also the broken screen. Okie dokie, I have got this thing all the way reassembled and I'm about to find out if it works or not. When this phone first came in, I actually tested the charge port and I came up with a flat zero. I didn't come up with like a charges when you get it at an angle or anything like that. It was just flat dead. So I have my suspicions that this is not going to have been the charge port to begin with. However, it's easy enough for me to just slap a port in it to find out. So, here we go. Drum roll, please. Huh. Look at that. This thing is actually drawing 200 milliamps. It just vibrated. So there you go. We are drawing a quarter amp of charging current. And the phone is now saying 0%. So I'll be a monkey's uncle. Very often customers will send in devices that are completely, totally dead and they want to know if you can replace the charge port and sometimes ask how much it's going to cost to replace the charge port. And deep down inside, they're really hoping that it's a, just a charge port, but it winds up being something really, really, really bad. But uh, in this case, this is actually just the charge port. It's still saying 0% charge more before turning on. So I'm gonna let this sit just a couple of minutes and let it charge. Yeah, and I don't know about new ports. These look pretty stinking scratched up, but the pins look good. 
Okey dokey, I'm starting to get excited here. We are now drawing almost 400 milliamps of charging current. This phone, it is up to 3% battery. Now, I would be expecting it to be drawing a little bit more than that, but maybe it's not drawing sufficient current because it's just not charged up far enough. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button to boot and see if it'll come on. Zzzt. Nice little vibrate. We got the LG showing on the screen as it should. And oh yeah, yeah, it immediately kicked up to a half an amp of charging current and that's a steady half an amp of charging current. So my experience with LGs really isn't all that great. I'm not sure how they're supposed to behave, you know, what the charging current should be when they're off versus when they're on. So let's just let this thing boot up and see what in the world happens here. I know for sure that my charge port is, is dirty because it's not, you know, it's not coming loose. And, uh, boy, it's only drawing a quarter amp of charging current and it is showing that it's connected. Oh, now we're jumping up again. You know, I'm gonna leave this thing sit just a little bit longer and let it charge. I'm pretty sure this phone is gonna be good to go. It's not disconnecting, it's staying connected. I think we're having low charging current due to 150 feet of cable on five volts or possibly just because the battery is so dead. So anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Just a bit of a short one. Slap a charge port and a butts it up LG and this will be a happy customer and I'm gonna move on about my way. So if you like this type of thing, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting as often as I can. Give me a thumbs up on this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day everybody. Thanks for watching. Alrighty then, so this phone is now pretty swiftly up to 6% battery power. It is now drawing a steady 700 milliamps of charging current and this has actually been trickling upward some. I wound up switching charge cubes to something that would actually hold five volts and it immediately started to come to life. So apparently LG did not like my four and a half to 4.7 volts of USB voltage. So yeah, imagine that.